Hey Collective, hi, how are you? For those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Winter and I am going to be delivering you guys a channeled message here today. I use my gifts and abilities as well as my knowledge of the cards to channel messages from spirit for you. And if you are here, it's because your higher self brought you here for a reason. Um, first and foremost, uh, as I was sitting here for a moment before starting uh, the video, I started to, um, I was getting messages about your shadow self and the darkness, those dark aspects of yourself. Um, and so I'm feeling as though some of you really need to focus on embracing those shadow aspects of yourself. I was going to put this deck up, but the car, the, the bag isn't readily available, so I'm just going to leave it right there for right now. So anyways, that's um, what I am picking up. I have tried to record uh, two different readings for you guys, so hopefully this one will upload. I'm going to try to keep this reading short. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Go ahead and visualize a healing light surrounding you, full of unconditional love, loving you no matter what you feel you've done no matter what guilts you may hold on to or mistakes you've made this loving light is surrounding you it's healing and conscious and it's completely unconditional loving you for who you are and where you are now breathe that light into yourself into your lungs imagine that it is permeating every cell of your body Connecting you with divine source energy that does love you unconditional. No matter what your religious background, your belief systems, it loves you. Melting into this light. Commanding yourself to ground to Mother Earth. <clears throat> Someone needs to hear that your voice matters. That you matter. Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Archangels, Ascendant Masters. Thank you, Ancestors. Thank you, divine, higher light beings, benevolent galactic ancestors and galactic beings. I call to you now and invite you here into this space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered to the collective of souls that find their way here. I thank you for allowing everyone involved in this reading to feel safe and loved. I thank you for guiding, blessing, protecting this reading, myself and the collective. I thank you for using each and every one of the decks of cards that I use here today as tools to communicate, to bring honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages from the divine that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none with peace, love, light, and gratitude. So it is. Namaste. Okay, just one moment. I'm going to turn my little fan on. Okay. Alrighty. And get a sip of water. So I do feel like there's reason to get excited, you guys, though. Um, I'm feeling some excited energy especially as you um, really start to um, embrace the, your demons, embracing your inner demons, um, and really learning like what it means to um, embrace your shadow side and doing shadow work, focusing on the shadow aspects of yourself and loving each and every one of um, your demons and loving every aspect of yourself. Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Angels, Archangels, Ascendant Masters, Ancestors, Higher Light Beings. 
benevolent galactic ancestors and galactic beings, please come here and guide this reading. Show me clearly what messages you have for the collective. What messages you have. Okay, mechanical self is the first card to come out, and this represents... Um, it says, undo the many layers of conditioning and restore your original essence. This is um, represents the, uh, the human condition, the unconscious, your routine, your, habit your habitual self. So, um, sorry, I had, it started to get a little... A little chilly with that fan blowing on me it's a beautiful cold rainy night beautiful beautiful cold rainy night so um this is like you really needing to peel yourself down and getting to the core of who you are you may really be putting up a fight right now going through some sort of battle this could be a battle within yourself or battle with others um right now um, but this card is about facing your problems head on and banishing what's attempting to block your path. This is like the, um, allowing that, the, the darker aspects of yourself to rise and to not be ashamed, be unapologetically who you are and, um, coming out of this mechanical self, this robot self, this self, uh, part of you that's just kind of like going with the flow and just simply existing getting down to the subconscious self the future card is here and this is forward thinking thinking um, of the future I'm picking up like three of wands energy here ask yourself look we've got the battle card again on the bottom of the deck ask yourself um, if the steps you're taking now will help or hinder your future. So really think like, what are you doing right now? That is, um, is what you're doing right now is what you're doing right now. Um, what road is that headed? Like, what are you doing right now? That is, um, changing your future for the better or for the worse. Uh, so spirit is saying for you to really take a look at like what, what are you doing right now? And uh, what it's like, don't think about, oh, well, I'll change those things tomorrow or I'll start doing this tomorrow. Like, what are you doing today, right now? So like, it's like, how are you eating? How are you, you know, like, what are you doing as far as like your career or your spiritual path um, right now? And what does that look like, you know, a year from now? The nature is calling you mother, uh, Gaia is calling you. You may actually really need to get outside. You may not be spending a lot of time outside. Downloads card tried to flip over too. So I do feel like you're receiving signs from the universe. You're also receiving downloads from spirit, from source. Um, whether you realize that's what this is or not. One more card, please, spirit, for the collective. Nature calls again. Like, she's really been calling for you to get outside, to breathe. Like, right now, um, spending time in nature, grounding yourself before, you making, before making any um, decisions or before taking your next steps in life in general. You know, like, um, so right now you're at some sort of t turning point in your life um, to go towards the future, go towards the des your destiny, and you just need to spend time grounding your energy. And we've got the rainbow card um, here, and the rainbow does represent good news, clearing the path. Some of you are getting a second chance at something here. Um, and it says here, all is well, the storm has passed. And the path has cleared to rebuild your life. So you're getting, you're going from um, this very routine, um, habitual life to focusing now on changing that, changing your future and getting a second chance at life. Um, some of you may have um, been dealing with like being baited 
by temptation to kind of stay stuck in a relationship or in a in a pattern or like repeating like the same pattern um you may also be kind of using someone or using others in order to um get something that you want as well and hopefully that's not the case um, but also, too, with this boastfulness card, with the fatal lore, someone may be using, like, um, like showing off or using grandiose, um, uh, um, like, grandiose gestures in order to, like, tempt you, uh, like some, like a, like a siren to keep you stuck. To keep you from moving forward to having progress in in your life and that could also not necessarily be a person but it could be a situation too that seems you know very tempting but spirits like don't allow yourself to be tempted or baited into staying stuck that it's a trap it's a trap But the rainbow card, this represents good news, though. So I do feel like, get excited. Look, there's some good news coming in. With the five of wands, though, right there, there it might you might feel as though it's too good to be true. Something could be too good to be true. Show me clearly, Spirit, what I need to see. Can you clarify this mechanical cell? It's like you've been conditioned in the past. This is being asleep. You've been asleep doing the same routine. And so now you're needing to like undo everything you've ever learned or everything that you've ever known. Yep. <laughs> the condition, redo everything you've ever known. Everything you thought was true. Everything that you were conditioned to believe everything that you thought you were believed and like just throwing all of that out throwing caution to the wind can you clarify the future spirit oh my god really planning your um financial future make yep making goals and and um making plans for your financial future here forward thinking um and um, thinking um, about, you know, it's like making like long-term plans for the future. Abundance. Where do you see yourself in the future? I'm, I'm, I keep hearing these loud pitch ringing in my ear too. Also, um, <clears throat> you may to find that you may be kind of baited in to like um someone uh to so like some like a big purchase um here with the the knight of pentacles with the future and the nine the nine of pentacles the future the knight of pentacles and then that grandiose with the bait card here on the bottom of the deck um, be careful because something may seem, uh, you know, grand and wonderful and uh, and it's like too good to be true and all that seems great. But really think about like the long term, like paying on whatever this is um, in the long term, that type of thing. And it's like it, what you do now is going to affect your future. And it may seem grand and wonderful, but really it just kind of traps you into making payments for years and years, you know, that type of thing. So really think about stuff before, something like that, before you making any kind of investments there, financial investments. But Spirit, what do they need to know <clears throat> about this good news, this rainbow here? Spirit's letting you know that all is well, though, that the storm has passed, and now there's this promise of good news, clearing the path and getting another chance here um, in some area of your life. So it's with finances. So it's like 
um, there's some sort of financial good news coming in. There's also some, um, some of you may be getting a, another chance to, <clears throat> like maybe you're um, paying something off or you've had something um, paid off and now like there's another opportunity coming back up around again, you know, and so spirits like really think about that because you don't want to have to start making payments again. I'm also seeing someone that's really working on trying to get some debt paid off or getting some trying to is working on getting something paid off. Um, and it's, so it's like you now finally are getting some good news because something is being paid off or it is about to be paid off that you've been working on for a while now, working on paying off. So this could be, you know, like a car, house, a credit card bill, furniture, something here, um, that you've <clears throat> recently paid off or, or about to pay off. But also, too, like, I'm seeing you receiving, like, Spirit saying, like, there's some good news here with your finances. This could be regarding a new job for some of you um, or, like, something here that you've been wanting for a while. You may have been, um, like, uh, in your head stressed out or worried about this or a little scared. Um, but there is good news coming in um, regarding this. I feel like a lot of us have been conditioned to believe that we need to be in debt in order to have nice things, and that's simply not true. <clears throat> and Spirit is saying that you don't need to be in debt. You don't have to have this or this or that. Like really um, thinking that you know you can. You, we don't. You don't have to have you know a mortgage, and you don't have you know really like stripping all that away. Spirit, can you tell me more about this mechanical self for the collective? One more card for mechanical self. So, yeah, this was, the full card was on the bottom of the deck when the um, King of Swords came out for this mechanical self. So, Spirit is saying to throw all of that out the window. You know, really releasing um, everything that you ever thought that you knew and stripping all that away. Um, this is about you also um, restoring your original essence, going back to your innocence before the world got its hands on you. Before people told you that you weren't good enough. Before you got into school and kids picked on you. Before your parents um, made you feel that you had to earn their love. This is Spirit saying to get back to that original childlike essence of who you are. That's why the Bible says once a man and twice a child. Um, and, you know, what is it? Something about... Um, to enter the kingdom of heaven you have to be like a like a child well that's like the kingdom of heaven is is the crown chakra so getting to that crown you have to um to open that crown uh and to be connected with the divine realm of spirit you have to uh get down to that innocent that um get back to that innocence of who you are on that essence of who you truly are is what spirit is trying to tell you now um, uh, to who you were and really reintegrating yourself on a soul level and reintegrating every um, aspect of yourself before you became this mechanical person really calling back your true self what are they can you give me another card here for this future really thinking um, i'm not going to take this because it didn't come out but spirit is is telling you to to think about the the future to avoid losses to really plan now so that you're not like um you're not you don't lose finances you know um so you, you don't have to worry about like uh health problems in the future or anything like that to really working on um, your financial um, or really working on having the best possible future that, that you can have. 
can you give me another card here for future spirit for the collective? So, <clears throat> yeah, this is definitely, this is, this is forward thinking though. This is like um, taking time out to pause, to reflect, to think about the future before you um, advance forward. To really taking time to pause and reflect about later on what your actions, what you do today and how, the effects that it's going to have on your future. Um, and, and that's um, going to be different for each of you. Spirit, can you tell me more about this good news coming to the collective, coming towards the collective spirit? What do they need to know about this good news? What do they need to know? Whoa. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Like, okay, so you may be like really thinking a bit negatively, maybe gaslighting yourself a little bit here, um, feeling a bit mentally conflicted, thinking that there's no way, you know, again, like some self-sabotage. Yeah, three of swords, like um, uh, dealt, been dealing with losses, conflict, you know, um, job losses, um, debt, things like that, um, stress, worry. And so um, you may be wondering if any of this is, you know, really going to happen. It, are, are you really going to get what it is that, that you want? Because there has been like some slow moving energy. Maybe um, you have uh, like slow nights at work or you've been having like slow weeks or, you know, something like that. Or it's like, you know, where are the clients? Where is the, the promotion? You know, I've been waiting for this promotion. I've been waiting for this to take off. I've, and, and it's just like, where is it? You know, it's like you have not seen the efforts. And some of you, this is regarding a relationship. Maybe you have, you're starting to doubt because you haven't seen um, any effort on that person's part. But regardless, like the path, there's pathway being cleared and spirit's promising you here because the rainbow represents a promise. So spirit is, is making a promise here that look, just because you don't see it now, doesn't mean that it's not there. Look, and it just jumped right out my hand. Oh, give me just a second to go get it. But, oh my goodness, I can't pick it up with these nails. Hold on just a second. Okay. <clears throat> just because you don't see it now, doesn't mean that it's not there. Like, let me show you while I'm standing, okay? See, all of that, she's looking over here and she's like, Wow, I've done all this work and this is all that I've got. But like, so she hasn't noticed that there's this right here. And this right here looks like bright yellow. I thought that was another pentacle right there. So there's like gonna be even more than you expect. There's gonna be even more than you expected. I'm telling you. Like, so um, just because right now you're feeling um, disappointed. You're feeling a bit, uh, I don't know, almost like feeling like something isn't going to happen, whether it's a promotion or new clients coming in or uh, a relationship, you know, paying off because you haven't seen that effort pay off, but it, well, it is. You know, it's like spirit saying, just be patient. It's, I always want to say, patience, grasshopper. You know, patience, grasshopper. <laughs> you know, it's like um, right now waiting things out. Um, it may be a bit frustrating because you haven't received that information. You haven't received that good news yet. You know, you haven't received that, um, that uh, second chance, right? Um, but spirit saying, look, all is well. You just haven't seen that hard work pay off. You know, maybe you're getting triggered. Maybe you're getting frustrated or, or downright. And some of you could just be getting pissed off a little bit. Um, but you are going to see, uh, the fruits of your labor, you know, um, there is, there is a positive outcome. Um, but you've just got to either continue to put in the effort, start to put in the effort, or just being patient. 
you know um, you're gonna experience some you're definitely going to experience growth you just have to really keep focused on the long term you're going to receive the abundance that you deserve you just need to stay focused on putting in the work and not giving up and focused on the long term and the, the long term goal here and not let yourself get overwhelmed this is like um, slow and steady wins the race type of energy you know maybe you've been putting in a lot of effort and energy into improving your health and you haven't seen a whole lot of benefits yet maybe you're thinking damn i've been restricting my diet i've been adding these vitamins i've been doing this and doing that and i'm not seeing the efforts that i want and spirits like look just stay focused on the long-term goal continue taking um, those steps and you're gonna start to see results you're gonna start to see results soon continue with the plan continue with the plan that you've got set in place like the page of Pentacles that's like that is good news right there that's 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 like one of the best um, uh, pages that you can get you know it's like you're you're on the road to something new you know you're on the road to something exciting here that, I mean this could be um, that you're just really needing to stay focused and stay motivated and just know that it's like I'm getting you know the universe meeting you halfway and it's like the universe is already there at that halfway point, right? And so you've just got to continue moving halfway. You've just got to keep continuing to move till you meet the universe at the halfway point. And that's when you're going to see your efforts and your hard work pay off here. So let me get a little bit more. For you and then I will. look nothing is lost know that when you lose something try to remember that there is always a deeper meaning that anything you lose comes around in another form and no matter how bad things may seem all is law lo not lost and it's like that's like that three of swords that we saw and it's like spirit saying all's not lost just focus on the future just keep thinking about your long-term goals and investments and know that when like that old saying goes when god closes a door he always opens a window like that type of energy and i hate to say god as a he but i'm just saying he because that's the saying but god is a woman now just saying god um god goddess also too there may be a bit of obsessive thinking uh about something like um or obsessing over a particular person or a situation and spirit saying no amount of obsession is going to make something better it's not gonna the more you obsess about something it's not gonna change it the more you stress and think about it it's not gonna change it Messages here for the collective spirit. Thank you. Any other messages here for the collective? Okay. Do not force solutions. And that's that Four of Swords, too, about, and it says, not everything can be, not everything can be fixed. Such times you have to let it die and let there be a new beginning so there may be some situations that you may just need to to just let go let it die and let something new come in invest wisely to and uh, this that's that seven of pentacles to really in uh, a vet investing your 
um, uh, attention into uh, people and situations and things that support you, that nurture you and challenge you in healthy ways to really help you grow, that will help you grow, blossom. Any other messages here for the collective spirit? We have the rising crescent, and I've pulled this card for you guys before. Look, look, focus on your own game. So this is like you staying in your own lane, staying focused uh, on your own lane, on your own path. Do this, and in due time, you will set up an extraordinary life. And that's what you're doing. You're setting up an extraordinary life. Don't focus on what other people are doing. Don't focus on how other people are doing it. Don't focus on nothing else besides watering your own grass, what you've got going on. and you, Because you're setting up an extraordinary life, an extraordinary future for yourself here. And we have shine your beauty. Let, let others do and say what they will. Keep doing good. Resist the temptation to dim your light to become as dark as those that oppose you. So look, stand in your ground. Stand your ground. Don't dim your light for other people is what Spirit is saying. Don't allow your light to be um, snuffed out because of other people's insecurities because you want to lower yourself to someone else's standards because of those that challenge you and make you feel less than continuing to shine light, bright. Uh, hold your own power. Never give your power away to other people. Knowing that not, uh, not everyone deserves your energy. Not everyone deserves your support and your love. And continue to shine bright. Shining bright like a diamond. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do for today. Um, for tonight, you guys. Because I'm tired. Because I literally did two readings for you guys today. And it didn't record. But I'm glad that this one got recorded. Um, I had to go in my phone and delete a bunch of stuff. Um, but, um, at least I, I mean, I know everything in divine timing and the messages will reach you when they're supposed to. So, and you'll get what you're supposed to get. So this is what I have for you. And I will be back tomorrow with another channeled message. In the meantime, please feel free to reach out to me, uh, and email me for your own personal private reading. And also... Uh, if you're wanting to win a free 15-minute reading, all you've got to do is just be subscribed, like the video, and please consider liking the video anyways, especially if you've made it this far because I really could use that equal energy exchange and then also it shows appreciation to the spirits that I communicate with to bring you these messages and, um, it, you know, just we just have that equal energy exchange, and then also it'll help boost the video up in the algorithm to reach other people that may really need to hear the message. So, the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.